in the previous class uh, we are discussed about the how to prepare the phenols by using the halochlorines and benzene sulfonic acid in this class we are going to be discussing about the preparation of phenols by other methods by using that uh, different reactants we can use to prepare the phenols that is the, now we are going to be discussing that uh, from that is the diazonium salts how to prepare the phenols by using the diazonium salts in this uh, primary aromatic uh, amide the primary aromatic amides is going to be treated with the sodium nitrate and, and uh, hydrochloric acid at that time we are going to be get that benzene diazonium chloride which on further is going to be warm with the water which on further warm with the water we are going to be get that phenol this is about the uh, preparation of uh, phenol from the diazonium salt i said that primary aromatic amide means aniline i am going to be taking an example that is a this is a primary aromatic amide this is a primary aromatic amide it is aniline aniline is going to be treated with the that is a sodium nitrate sodium nitrate means NaNO this we call sodium nitrate and the hydrochloric acid at that time we are going to be obtained the product that is a benzene diazonium chloride that is a benzene diazonium chloride this we call it as a benzene diazonium chloride the name of this compound we can be written as benzene diazonium chloride this further we are going to be warm with the water going to be warm with the water the solution is going to be warm with the water at that time we are going to be get that phenol we are going to be get that phenol we are going to be get that phenol plus nitrogen and hydrochloric acid then SF this about the that is the preparation of phenol by using the that is a diazonium salts. This is one of the important uh, uh, reaction as in the examination. Uh, you should be remember that is the from the diazonium salts. Uh, the by using the diazonium salts we can be prepared the phenols. Then the next we are going to be discussing about the preparation of phenol by using the uh, that is cumin. That we are going to be taken uh, taken that from cumin. Cumin. This uh, cumin is nothing but there is a isopropyl benzene. We call it as a cumin. Isopropyl benzene. In this isopropyl benzene, that we are going to be taken the isopropyl benzene. That is a cumin means we are going to be taken the the isopropyl benzene. We call it as a cumin. The structure of cumin we can be written like this. The structure of cumin. That is, uh, we are going to be written like this. The cumin is oxidized. The cumin is oxidized. That is, the uh, cumin is going to be oxidized in the presence of air. In the presence of air. At that time, the product we are going to be get at, that is the cumin hydroperoxide. We are going to be get that cumin, that is, uh, hydroperoxide. Cumin hydro hydro per per oxide. There is a this uh, cumin hydro peroxide. This again is going to be heated with the dilute sulfuric acid. Dilute sulfuric acid. At that time, we are going to be obtained the phenol. We are going to be obtained the Phenol. Phenol and another important byproduct that is acetone. CH3, CO, CH3. This is about the, the phenol we are going to be obtained and acetone as a byproduct.
This is the one of the important reaction for the exam purpose. This so many times asked in the examination. These two methods in the preparation of phenols is very important for the examination purpose. So many times asked these two questions. That is, how do you prepare that uh, phenol by using the diazonium salts? How do you prepare the phenol by using the cumin? By using the cumin. These two are very important for the examination purposes. The next we are going to be discussing about the that is the chemical properties of phenols. This is about the preparation uh, preparation of the uh, phenols. Before going on next, we will discuss about the chemical properties and the physical properties of the phenols. The first uh, we are going to be discussing about the physical properties of phenols. Physical properties. Until now we are discussing about the classification and the preparation of phenols. Now we are going to be discussing about the physical properties. It is uh, these phenols are colorless. It is a colorless crystalline solid or liquid. Means it is uh, these phenols are colorless. It is a colorless crystalline crystalline solids are liquids. Are liquids. This is about the color of the uh, color and state of the phenols. This point is going to be used the color and the state. Then the phenols are in the characteristic stick order. It's having the characteristic order. Phenols having the uh, characteristic order. Then these phenols are partially soluble. Partially soluble in water and readily soluble in organic solvents. Organic solvents. This is about the solubility. This point is going to be given the color and state of the phenol. This point is going to be given the order. Okay, it's having the characteristic order. Then this point is going to be solubility of the phenols. Partially uh, is going to be soluble in the water and it's going to be readily soluble in the organic solvent. The next, uh, the phenols are corrosive. Phenols are corrosive. Because when the phenols are dropped on the skin, it forms a blisters. It's going to be used. Uh, it's going to be used the blisters. This and therefore the phenols are corrosive. Then these phenols have high boiling points. The phenols are having high boiling point. It's having that high boiling point compared to corresponding arenes. Corresponding arrange when compared to the corresponding arrange is having the high boiling point because due to the that is a inter hydrogen bonding that is a due to the hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding means you can find that hydrogen bonding in the phenols it is going to be z o z h the r o is nothing but oxygen which is having the uh, high electronegative element that is the oxygen is the uh, this the hydrogen bond is going to be formed. The hydrogen is going to be formed between the hydrogen and uh, electron negative, high electron negative element that is oxygen. Due to this, the phenols having the, the phenols having the high boiling point when compared to the corresponding uh, the arrays in corresponding. Uh, this uh, the phenols have high boiling point due to that is uh, due to the presence of the hydrogen bonding in the phenols. This is about the physical properties of the phenol. Physical properties of phenols. Uh, the what we are discussed, we are discussed about the color. That it is the colorless essence. It is the colorless. Then state. Uh, the crystalline solids are liquids. Then it is a uh, order in 
which is having the particular characteristic odor, phenols having the characteristic odor, then the solubility. Solubility means the, uh, these are uh, partially soluble in the water, but uh, readily soluble in the organic solvent. Then phenols are corrosive because it is going to be, when it is going to be dropped on the skin, it is going to become blisters. Then these are uh, having the high boiling point uh, the when compared to the corresponding arrays. This about the physical properties of the physical properties of the phenols. The next uh, the concept we are going to discuss is about the chemical properties of uh, this phenols. First, uh, in the chemical properties of phenols, we are going to be discussing about the the uh, acidity of the phenols. First, we are going to be discussing about the acidity of the phenols. In that uh, acidity uh, of the phenols can be explained uh, by using the some uh, reactions. By using the some reaction, we can explain the acidity of the phenols. Discussing about the chemical properties of phenols. Chemical properties. When it comes to the chemical properties of phenols, in that first we are going to be discussing about the acidity of phenols. Where the acidity of the phenols can be explained by using some reactions. Uh, the phenols is going to be reacts with the metals like the sodium, potassium. It's going to be used the that is a respective phenoxide. If it is going to be reacts with the sodium, we are going to be get the sodium phenoxide. If we are going to be reacts with the potassium, is we are going to be get that potassium phenoxide. That we are going to be with the liberation of hydrogen. The liberation of hydrogen. The first we are going to discuss about the with sodium in that. Uh, with metal like that is a sodium. How it is going to be reacts with phenol. The phenol is going to be reacts with the, the phenol is going to be reacts with the that is a sodium. It is going to be sodium. The phenol is going to react with the sodium. We are going to be get that sodium phenoxide. We are going to be get that sodium phenoxide. O N A. This we call as a the name of this compound is sodium fin fin oxide. The name of this compound is sodium fin oxide with the liberation of hydrogen. With the liberation of hydrogen. From this reaction, we can say that the uh, the chemical property of the uh, phenol that is acidic nature of the phenol. Then the next we are going to be with sodium hydroxide NaOH. If it reacts with the, the that is uh, phenol, phenol is going to be reacts with the sodium hydroxide. If we, we are going to be get the product sodium phenoxide uh, with the water. In this, uh, if it is react with the metal, we are going to be get the hydrogen. Hydrogen is going to be liberated. If it is react with the sodium hydroxide, at that time we are going to be get that water. We are going to get that water. That is a OH plus that is a it reacts with the sodium hydroxide. That is a NaOH. At that time we are going to get that sodium phenoxide. We are going to get that sodium phenoxide. O Na. The name of this compound is sodium free oxide plus water. This about the uh, reaction with the sodium and sodium hydroxide.